Hello, everyone. Wipe them out. Megan's plans are exposed. Megan thought everyone was stupid. Only she was smart, but she didn't know that the stupidest person was actually her. Not only Megan, but Harry is also at risk of being wiped out. Please watch the video until the end so I can explain everything to you. At this very moment, in the midst of the British monarchy, as you can guess, they are engaged in a struggle against what many people consider to be the most challenging thing that they have had to deal with since, well, the year 1936-1937. Yes, you read that correctly. When Wallace Simpson appeared on the landscape, the situation is considerably more complicated this time around, simply because of the fact that they have to deal with not just one, but two particularly challenging individuals. The individual in question is none other than Meghan Markle. And of course, Prince Harry, who was once known as the Duke of Sussex. However, the most significant thing is that a whole new tour is heading towards Australia in October, and His Majesty the King will be accompanying him. Of course, Queen Camilla is quite anxious about whether or not this tour should actually go forward. Now, a couple of people are not especially intriguing to some people, but of course, many others want to watch exactly how their narrative, their tale, unfolds, and of course, that couple is none other than Harry and Meghan. It is common knowledge that they have lately returned from Colombia, where they were on yet another fictitious royal trip. And then, earlier on, we went on the phony tour of Nigeria. In addition, the events, which are known as the Invictus events, will be held in Vancouver, which is located in the stunning nation of Canada the following year. The presence of all of these things is meant to convey the message that these two former royals have a significant amount of importance for all of that kind of stuff. Nevertheless, as I mentioned to you at the beginning of this film, the beginning is actually this. You are aware that His Majesty the King is now engaged in a battle to advance. Furthermore, a great number of individuals have taken note of the fact that he has shed an extraordinary quantity of weight, slightly more zest than usual. The question that a lot of people are asking is, is he still really fit and able to continue with such a punishing schedule that's coming up in October? This is because he wants to travel to Australia, which is a lovely country, and he wants to go there. He is eager to visit that location, of course. For the first time, he is serving as king. For obvious reasons, he does not want to disappoint other people. It is something that Queen Camilla is particularly worried about. On the other hand, allow me to present you with the other viewpoint. In all honesty, Harry and Meghan would love to go on as many as 12 of these fictitious royal excursions. This is something that their team has been pushing for a long time. The explanation for this is fairly straightforward. As I said before, they are of the opinion that they are able to perform precisely the kind of ambassadorial duty that they had envisioned and which they had proposed to our late queen, Queen Elizabeth II, in regions that the actual royals do not like to visit, the one in which she stated that an individual is either in or out. Now, however, Harry and Meghan are under the impression that they are able to move forward with that specific notion because she is no longer there in the picture. They are under the impression that their popularity will continue to grow with each tour, which will ultimately force the monarchy to provide them with a platform that is just what they want in its original form. But do you actually see it? Does their reputation increase with each trip? If you see it is true, then comment number one or vice versa. If you don't see it, then comment number two. You may recall that they desired to sort of accomplish whatever it was that they wanted to do. And the more significant they believe they may become on these fictitious royal tours, the more pressing the question becomes, to what extent will the royal family fall apart? Furthermore, and I am sorry to be the one to say this, but the health of, for example, two senior royals is in a very precarious state right now, as we are all aware. Obviously, Catherine, the Princess of Wales, is putting up a fight and doing quite well in this whole ordeal. When I saw that image of her, she was attending church, and I thought she looked really stunning. His Majesty the King, 
of course, is also included. There are many who believe that he is a workaholic, a stoic individual, and someone who is always out there visiting and welcoming people, despite the fact that he does not necessarily feel the greatest himself. So far, Harry and Meghan are making progress in their relationship. They feel that their first concept was the most superior and appropriate concept. First and foremost, it is their concept, and they are not going to change their minds about it. It has been brought to my attention that Meghan has purportedly entertained the notion that this may, in fact, result in the elimination of what many others consider to be the more conventional structure of the British monarchy. But actually, I think that is insignificant but dangerous. Harry and Meghan will go on their path of harassment knowing his father, the King, is being treated for cancer. His Royal Highness, Prince William, is not King yet. King Charles III does not have a choice. It is his duty to act accordingly in view of the past events. His second son and his wife's treacherous behavior. Certainly, Meghan will never wipe out the royal family no matter how many times she tries, she's a failure. However, she might not be able to take the monarchy down, but she has caused a lot of damage and destruction with her lies about racism and abuse. And Charles not saying or doing anything to stop her gives her more power to keep doing it because she's getting away with everything. Meghan is really nothing more than a thorn in the monarchy's side. The amount of people turning their backs on that pair is staggering. They have no real power, so can do nothing to ruin the monarchy. And someone should tell them that if the real royals don't want to visit a place, there's a darn good reason for it. They are nothing but a pair of fools. Until now, a line has been irrevocably crossed. The Harkles and their drama need to stay away. It's actually been over for the Harkles since the day the late Queen went to heaven. They just didn't realize it until now. Harry has less than zero chance of ever being a working royal again. A line has been irrevocably crossed. The hackles and their drama need to stay away. But I think, in fact, the drama and circus of the faux royal court will push on, unless they are humiliated and punished. Without any containment public criticism and continual punishment, however gradual KC3 will suffer for the rest of his reign. Start by removing all mention of the Sussexes on the royal website. We are losing sympathy for King Charles III's inaction. Lance the festering sore. We, the people, do not want Harry or his wife to return to a working royal role. Harry and his wife are ignoring their agreement to our dear late Queen Elizabeth's ruling that they will not be half in and half out. Like everything else they touch, Harry and his wife are trashing that agreement. These two delinquents have no respect for anything or anyone. I want the royal family to put them in their place and shut them down once and for all. The real royals need to ask to have those titles stripped and publicly state that Harry and Meghan are not royals and do not represent the crown. Any statement the royals make about Harry's antics gives Harry the opportunity to respond, and it ends up being a public back-and-forth mudslinging match the working royals are carrying out their duties with dignity and distinction and not allowing Harry's sideshow to call the shots. Anyway, Meghan really is an awful person, and so is the other one for allowing her to do it. Surely he can see that nothing she does seems to work out. People just do not like her fake, social climbing, manipulating ways. When is he going to get tired of her control and bad decisions? Markel thinks she can change the ancient, established monarchy to her wishes. Markle thinks she can force the monarchy to accept them on their terms. Markle thinks she can badger the senior royals into giving her deadbeat husband equality with a king. Markle thinks she can bully the king into giving her a public apology for lying and scandalizing the monarchy. Meghan is really funny. Everyone already knows that Harry doesn't represent the throne. If the king makes a statement about it, it gives Harry more gravity than necessary. Ignoring Harry's antics has been effective at allowing him to fade into obscurity as he is. If the public would ignore him, all the better. Governments will never trash international protocol and invite Harry on fake tours. 
Maybe the Parliament will get to the reading to remove their titles by October. No one can stop them from going to countries that invite them. Why do these countries waste their money on them? I still cannot figure it out. These countries cannot afford them. Yet they do it, and they are getting nothing in return. Shame on the countries. It seems they are using the Invictus Games to guarantee entry to a variety of countries. It has become the Meghan and Harry show, and very little spotlight is put on the athletes. They should be sacked from the role, co-founder or not. Especially, all these fake tours are showing us how much better the royal family is without Harry and Meghan. These trips, just like Invictus, are just all about Meghan. These trips show us an awkward, classless couple. All they do is promote themselves. They are delusional to think these trips are making them look good. The royal family is thriving without them. King Charles is out and about. Princess Catherine will return as soon as possible, and the other working royals are very busy. Harry and Meghan are not needed. Besides what happened to finding freedom, and how happy Harry and Meghan were to be out of the toxic, racist royal family. Finally, Charles should cut all formal ties to the Harkles, relieving them of all titles, including Prince for Harry and Archie and Princess for the girl and their places in the line of succession. At what point will enough be enough for Charles? Let the Harkles try to set up a rival court without the trappings of royalty that they love so much. The Harkleys' many blunders and embarrassing behavior during these fake tours reflect on the monarchy as long as Harry has titles and is fifth in line. Do you agree with me? Please share your ideas in the comments below. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to show your support by like, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. Now, farewell, and we'll see you again.